What's going on everyone? UGL event status here with another UGL special update. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing good because I'm doing great because the announcement that I have to, that, you know, to have to put out here, I am doing amazing. In the previous week, business-wise that has happened with the UGL, I can't be here. I can't here, sit here. Just, all I can do is smile. All I can do is sit here and smile over what has happened. Now for those that don't know, I will of course fill you in. As you know, the UGL has a tendency of putting on great tournaments, but for also not just AAA games, but also games that are lesser known, and some games that probably have been forgotten in the past, and trying to make a comeback, correct? We've seen this over, you know, over a span of, I'll say about, what, six months or so? We've seen this, right? So, the proof is there. Now, with that said, as you know, on May 25th to the 28th, UGL will be hosting a number of live tournaments at Momocon. That's right. Now, before I get into the listing, all right, the reason I'm saying this is because in the previous week, it goes to show that the community is watching. And what I mean about the community, we're not just talking about the gamers, okay? Because it's amazing to see how, and I'll put like this, shout outs to the boss man of UGL, you know what I mean? UGL Darking, because... For those who don't know, when we're in these meetings, all right, even though he's a gamer himself, he always asks us our input and in what games that we should host. You know what I mean? And like I said, I will get to that. But given what we've decided to host this year at Momocon, it has attracted the bigger fish. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, E-League. That's right. The E-League has come on to support UGL on what they are doing at Momocon. And it's amazing because for those who have not seen the back and forth on Twitter, just a small back and forth to show you how the community, I shouldn't say just the community, but the business sense of the community really cares and sees what others are trying to do to make things better. So I guess you should see this tweet real quick. You know, that is a great thing to see. Now, look, look, people, as you know, the E-League, worth millions, if not billions. Look at the backing that they have. Look at the sponsorship that they have. You got to think, this is a Ted Turner company. This is Ted Turner, TNT, TBS, big-time company, and they noticed us. That's right. Noticed us for our hard work. They looked at the listing that was going on at Momocon and seen at the games that were being hosted by UGL and said, whoa, these boys are putting in work. We should support them. And that's what I want to talk about real quick. Because of the support, I want to thank the E-League for actually helping us along this journey. Due to the fact that just a month ago, let's be one for a minute, a month ago, there was a bunch of clowns from the FGC who were trying to dogpile yours truly and saying, UGL don't know what they're doing. They're going to Momocon. No one goes to Momocon and all this type of stuff. They don't let members say all that. And these are the same guys who took the Reddit. So I guess after this video, they're going to go run back to Reddit and cry some more. Because like I said, when people are trying to do things to help better the community, Others will notice and help support you, as opposed to these other people who just want to see things the way they are. They don't care about all the business aspects, you know, all the equipment, you know, cost of equipment and stuff like that. They don't see all that. They don't care about that. No, they just want to see somebody go off. No, don't care. It's a great thing to see that, like I said, there's people out there who are actually trying to make a difference and are being supported in this community, as opposed to those who just sit on, on Reddit and complain about you. And they're doing nothing themselves. You know what I mean? But since I talked about the listing for, you know, Momocon and what UGL is going to host, let's get into it right now, shall we? This is going to be great. So on Friday, as you know, Thursday will be setup day. We'll be all around. All of us will be there to, you know, to still set up, play with, you know, with the public and have fun and, you know, and party and stuff. On Friday, I will start off with Under Night and Birth. That's right. Rule set. PS3 version, alright? Winner keeps same character. Between matches, loser can change characters, alright? Two out of three rounds per game. Two, uh, two, uh, was, uh, two, uh, two out of three games per set, alright? Three out of five games for top eight, okay? And also, no game-breaking exploits, bugs, or anything that causes the system to crash. Those are the, you know, the just drop-dead rules. That's how it's gonna go. Now, let's talk about the pot, shall we? Pot guarantee of $150. That's right. That's provided by the UGL, of course. But then, on top of that, the E-League has supported us and decided to add another $100 to our pot. That's just for under night and birth. Let's go on, shall we? All right, and more on Friday. Blaze Blue Central Fiction. That's right. It'll be the PS4 version. 
bring your own con uh, controller, okay? Also, double elimination, as you know, default game settings, three out of five games per set for top eight, okay? Now, also, there's more. Winner must keep their character, loser may switch their character, all right? Also, random stage select. Of course, uh, players may opt for an agreed stage, so that's fine. As long as players can come to an agreement, no problems there, okay? Also, your pot guarantee. $150 provided by the UGL, and on top of it, plus $100 extra dollars by the E-League. That's right. Now, still, more on Friday. Rivals of Aether. That's right. Pop bonus of $150 by the UGL, and of course, $100 by the E-League, and as you know, that will be a PC thing. So, we have that. Now, for some more news, like I said, we're going to get into some games that you probably didn't even think about at one point, you know? And you're going to see this between Friday and Saturday, but Samurai Showdown 6. That's right. Pop bonus of $100, all right, provided by the UGL. And the E-League will also add another $100. This will be for the PS4, all right? Let's move on, shall we? In more news, grow. That's right. Mark of the Wolves. Now, as you know, the pop bonus will be at $100, all right? But also, you know, because that's from the UGL, but also another $100 by the E-League. Now, of course, I'm not going over these rule sets because standard rule sets apply. And as you know, uh, if you go onto the, uh, was it the website, which I will put, you know, in the description field, of course, rules will be updated. And if there's no rules updated, of course, by the time that you get there, there will also be rules, all right? So you don't have to worry about that, all right? Let's move on, shall we? In more news, Marvel, baby, that's right, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the pop bonus for that will be $150, that's right, by the UGL, but also an extra $100 by the E-League, that's right, from Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, for some more news, and it's probably going to shake people, because this was actually supposed to be a secret event, but it's probably best that now that it's announced that, you know, we should just get this out of the way. So, with the rule set... Tetsunoko versus Capcom. That's right. Let's get into this, all right? It will be the Wii version, all right? Uh, I believe it will be played on Wii U. I don't know. It's, it's going to... I'm sure that uh, that rule may vary. I believe it will be... Uh, was it rule, uh, Was it Wii version? There will be RA controllers for Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, so you don't have to worry about that. I understand since it's a, you know, a last-gen game from the Wii. You know, I should say last-gen. should say last two gens, actually. But, you know what I mean? But we will have the controllers for you. You don't have to worry about that. Winner keeps the same character between matches. Loser can change characters. Of course, two out of three rounds per game, of course, you know. And, um, of course, two out of three per set, you know what I mean? And also, three out of five uh, for top eights, as you know. Now, here's the thing. Giant characters are banned from this game, in this tournament, okay? They are banned. Also, banned stages will be Burning Wasteland and Willamette uh, Mark, uh, Mall, sorry. So yeah, those are two stages that will be banned, alright? $100 prize pot, of course, provided by the UGL, and of course, an extra $100 by the E-League. That's right. So, that's on Friday, and if that's not enough on Friday, I guess we should roll into Saturday now, shall we? So let's get into it, alright? Saturday. Starting off, Guilty Gears are Revelator. That's right, Guilty Gear. So let's get into this. First off, it will be for the PS4, all right? Bring your own controller for this one. Also, default settings, uh, two or three rounds per game, uh, three out of five, uh, what's it? I'm sorry, two out of three rounds per set, I mean two out of three per set in games. Um, also, three out of five games for top eight. Also, winner must keep their character, loser may switch. The pot guarantee for this will be at $150, okay? Pot bonus of $150 uh, will be provided by the UGL, plus uh, $100 by the E-League. So there you go, all right? That's just for Guilty Gear Zerd. But let's keep it moving. Let's talk about King of Fighters 14 now, shall we? On Saturday, it will be the PS4 version, all right? However, bring your own controller for King of Fighters 14. Game settings, team versus, 60 seconds, no handicaps, Okay. All matches are best 2 out of 3, top 8 best 3 out of 5, as you know. Now, winner must keep the same team, loser can switch teams. Pot guarantee of $150, pot bonus of $150 provided by the UGL, plus $100 provided in pot bonus by the E-League. That's right. 
Let's also keep moving on because for those that don't know, more games that you probably didn't think would be there, but will be there, okay? So let's talk about it. Nitro Plus Blasters, Heron Infinite Duel, that's right. The pot bonus will be $100 provided by the UGL, and of course, $100 added to it by the E-League, and this will be for PS4, okay? Also, Dengeki, let's talk about this. Dengeki Punko Fighting Climax Ignition. That's right. The pop bonus for it will be $150 provided by the UGL and $100 also pop bonus added by the E-League. This will be for the PS4 as well. All right? Also, in more news, Melty Blood, Actress Again, Current Code. That's right. For those who don't know, the pop bonus will be $100 provided by the UGL. Also, an extra $100 provided pop bonus by the E-League. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on, because in PC news, I'm sorry, but also, just to let you know, Melty Blood, I'm sorry, Actress Current Code will be, uh, was it, will be for um, the PC, just to let you know, alright? Now, let's move on to more PC. Brawlhalla, that's right, Brawlhalla, will have a pop bonus of $150 provided by the UGL, and also, check this out, the E-League has stepped in, and not only just matched the pot bonus, because you've seen a lot of matches probably, but they're going to add more, that's right, it will be a $250 pot bonus added by the E-League, that's right, and also, in final news for Saturday, Injustice 2, that's right, the pot bonus will be at $150 provided by UGL, and then $100, of course, provided by the E-League. Now, before I finish this video and let you know more about this, let me just tell you what a little birdie told me, okay? Just to let you know. Certain players in these tournaments, depending on the tournaments that you play in, will have a bounty on them. That's right, a bounty. Now, of course, I can't tell you what players are going to be there, you know what I mean? No, because we got to keep some type of mystery. But just to let you know, if you beat certain player in these tournaments, of course, you will get money back. Right off the bat, right then and there. So, there will be a bounty on certain players in these tournaments. Like I said, not going to tell you who. I guess you'll just have to show up and find out who it is now, won't you? Look, I feel like this. This week, I'm sorry, this week, I'm sorry, May 25th to the 28th, it's going to be a great time over in Atlanta, over at MomoCon. I want to thank MomoCon for, you know, for working with us so much. And I want to also thank the E-League for coming along and also help supporting us as well. It goes to show you, this is going to be a great event. And for people who still feel as though that MomoCon can't bring in mind, these are just the games that the UGL is hosting. We haven't gotten into Street Fighter and Smash and all that type of stuff. No, 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 no. That's even more that's going more festivities that's going on at MomoCon. So it goes to show you that, hey, we're doing our part. Other people are doing their parts. Other companies are trying to help each other out. Why? To bring you the best experience that you can. So I'm not trying to hear anymore that, you know, well, these games aren't being, you know, supported. And it's underrated. No. Now it's time for you to come out and support. This is what you wanted. This is what you're getting. And you can't sit here and say that nobody is listening to you. The companies are listening. At least when it comes to tournament organizers, everyone is listening. So as far as I'm concerned, gamers, I understand. Look, if you're already booked for Combo Breaker and stuff like that, I get that, all right? But for those who aren't, all right? For those who aren't, why don't you come on down to MomoCon? Come on down and party with us. You can sit and compete, laugh, have fun. Hell, we'll go out for a beer or so afterwards. This is what it's about, and this is what brings communities together. Not sitting on the internet and complaining all day and then doing nothing about it. Or trying to knock down someone else who's trying to make things better. That doesn't help your situation any either. So as far as I'm concerned, please, by all means, come out, support. We'll all be there from Thursday to Sunday. We'll be there. Of course, like I said, the festivities don't start until Friday, but we will be there. So, hey, stop by, say hi, shake a hand, give a hug, whatever. Doesn't matter, right? Because that's what it's about. Anyways... I will talk to y'all then, y'all be safe, and I hope to see you there, because if not, you're going to miss out on a lot of fun, or I guess you can try and catch some of our streams, because we'll be streaming as well, like I said, all information will be in the description field, so you don't have to worry about it, I will talk to you then, y'all be safe, y'all have a good one, I know I'm going to have a good one today, this is pretty fun, talk to you then, I'm out, and good luck to all the competitors.